Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, if you know anything about, you know, working on the 12 valve Cummins with the P-Pump on it, you've probably seen that uh, U-shaped wrench with the red plastic handle that even Cummins sells, and they're like, oh, you need this to get to the back bottom bolt on the injector pump to get it off. Well, I've got news for you. All you super duper mechanic types that think you need that, there is a better way and another way where you don't have to buy a stupid wrench. Check this out. The secret to removing the hard to get to nuts on the P7100. With just the oil line removed, can you see that down there? Yep, that is a long universal impact swivel, a 15 millimeter with a 12 inch 3 8 extension on a 3 8 ratchet. It fits on there perfect. It doesn't bind. It's not hard to get on there. And uh, it works. In fact, I've already got the nut broken loose. And it's coming off just fine. So, um, let's see if I can show you a little better now. See that? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if this light's going to stay, but see if we can give it a try yeah okay so I need a better work light maybe that's what I should buy instead of the stupid special wrench that I'm proving to you right now you do not have to have okay oh how about that some inadvertent backlighting sweet so uh, you can get it back on with your fingers from the bottom, go around the bottom side like that when you're putting it back together, you can do that the same way. And there we go, the nut is off. It's right there on the floor. And I'm pretty sure, yep, you can even get to the other one the same way. So there's your tip, the secret to removing the hard to get to backside nuts on the P7100. All you need is a universal 15 millimeter swivel socket and a 12 inch extension. Hope this helps you guys. Take it easy. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.